name is Derek Hira. I'm a professor at American University in the Department of Public Administration and Policy, and I'm also the founding director of the Metropolitan Policy Center. I just wrote my third sold authored book, Slow and Sudden Violence, Why and When Uprisings Occur. In Slow and Sudden Violence, I look not just at the sudden violence of policing, the killing of Michael Brown, the murder of George Floyd, and the rough ride that Freddie Gray took in Baltimore, but I go beyond policing. I look at the slow violence, the violence of urban restructuring, the displacement that has happened to families for generations, and how people being displaced and segregated and then hit on the head with aggressive policing relates to the uprise that we have had in contemporary America. This work was a labor of love. I talked also about how this work was incredibly difficult to do. It was a comparative study of conditions over time in Baltimore compared to Ferguson. These are cities uh, that have a lot of deprivation, uh, a lot of intense poverty, uh, and they have experienced black death. So to get trust and buy-in in the African American communities in these two uh, municipalities was very difficult and hard and took time. What allowed me to travel to these places was the resources of American University and the School of Public Affairs. It wasn't just the resources, it was the students. I had over 16 graduate students over a six year period helped me on this project, travel up with me to Baltimore, conduct the interviews, co-conduct interviews in Ferguson, analyze the interviews, do background and lit searches to do historical record and archival work. Uh, all of this help that I had from the American University students in the School of Public Affairs was critical to accomplishing this work and I have to thank all of them and the school um, to allow me and to support me in this endeavor.